Okay. Is a miracle walking God? Is a miracle walking God? Is the Alpha and the Omega? Is a miracle walking God? Hallelujah. It's a miracle, walking God. It's a miracle, walking God. He is the Alpha and the Omega. It's a miracle, walking God. It's a Miracle, walking God, is a miracle, walking God, is the Alpha and the Omega, is a miracle, walking God. Is a miracle walking down. Is a miracle walking down. Is the Alpha and the Omega. Is a miracle walking down. Hallelujah. Is a miracle walking down. Is a miracle walking down. Is the Alpha and the Omega. Is a miracle walking down. Hallelujah. Is a miracle walking down. Is a miracle walking down. Is the Alpha and the Omega. Is a miracle walking God, walking God. Is the miracle walking God. Is the miracle walking God. Is the Alpha and the Omega. Is a miracle walking God. Is a miracle walking God. Is a miracle walking God. Is the Alpha and the Omega. Is a miracle walking God. Hallelujah. Is a miracle walking God. Is a miracle walking God. Is the Alpha. And the Omega is a miracle walking down. Hallelujah is a miracle walking down. A miracle walking down is the Alpha and the Omega is a miracle walking down. Is a miracle walking God. Is a miracle walking God. Is the Alpha and the Omega. Is the miracle walking God. Eternal Father, I take authority over every critical spirit every spirit of unbelief every mindset of judgments negativity everyone who are just coming they are not expecting anything people with biased mind people who are just following I rebuke them all. 
all around the world, I take authority and bring every mindset and every spirit under my authority. Amen. I destroy unbelief. Yes. Lord, I release your power. I plead the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Amen. We release the blood of the Son of God. Amen. Lord, we come to you as spirits. Yes. Living in this physical universe. We come to worship you, to devote our lives to you. Lead us any way you want to lead. Reveal anything you want to reveal. Miracle is the advertisement for the kingdom. Therefore, let your kingdom come heavily. The reign of miracles, miracle reign. We release them from the sky realm, from the master planet into our planet for everyone who are willing to tap into it. Everybody shout, I am willing. Make sure you know what you are saying. I am willing. I am willing, no. I'm willing. I am willing. Let go of anything you are dealing with and shout, I am willing. Yay! I am willing. I am willing. If you are not excited, if you are not excited about what we are doing, please leave the phone line. Leave Facebook if you are not excited. I am willing. I am excited. I am excited. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Repeat it to yourself. I am willing to receive miracle rains. I am willing to receive miracle rain. Hallelujah. Lord, pour joy. You create with positive forces. You create, oh God, with happiness. You create with joy. Hallelujah. Lord, begin to create. Begin to create. Begin to create. Holy Spirit. We ask for your manifestation. We ask for the ministries of angels. Feel this place. I want you to make up a song and begin to sing to God. Make up a song and begin to sing and dance to him. Make up your own song. Don't listen to anybody's song. Make up your own song and begin to sing. Don't worry about what anybody is singing. Sing your own song to him. Oh, glory, glory. Glory to the Lord. All glory, glory, glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hosanna. Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hosanna. Hosanna, Hosanna. 
Blessed be the name of the Lord. You are worthy to receive glory. You are worthy to receive honor. You are worthy to receive power. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name, O God. You are worthy to receive glory. You are worthy to receive honor. Blessed be your name. Oh, you are my El Shaddai, my Jehovah Sidkidu. You are my Ali. You are my El Shaddai. Hallelujah. You are my Jehovah Sidkidu. You are my Jehovah El Shaddai. You are my Jehovah everything. Blessed be your name. You are my Jehovah Sidkidu. My Jehovah, oh, you are my Jehovah El Shaddai. Blessed be your name. You are the Lord of hosts. You are the Lord who sees it all. You are the revealer of secrets. Blessed be your name. You are my own El Shaddai. You are my Redeemer, Jesus. You are my leader, Holy Ghost. Blessed be your name. Now stand up and begin to dance to God. Begin to dance for Him. Begin to sing and dance for Him. Lord, we worship you. Ooh, we worship you. Ooh, we worship you. Hallelujah. Ooh, we worship you. Ooh, we worship you. Ooh, we worship you. Blessed be your name. We dance to the Lord Almighty. We dance to the Lord Almighty. I dance to you, O Lord Holy Ghost. Blessed be your name. I dance to you, Lord Jesus. Oh, I dance to you, Lord Jesus. Oh, I dance to you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your name. Oh, I dance to you, Lord Jesus. I dance to you, Lord Jesus. I dance to you, Lord Jesus. Oh, I dance for you, the Father, the Holy Ghost, and all angels, all the saints in heaven, hear me. I dance to the Father, Jesus, Holy Ghost. Blessed be your name. My God is a God of miracle. My God is a God of miracle. My God is a God of miracle. Blessed be your name. My God is a God of miracles. My God rain rain of miracles. My God rain rains of miracles. Blessed be your name. My God is raining, raining of miracles. Miracle rain is falling on me. Rain of miracles fall on me. Blessed be my God. 
Hallelujah. I have a God who never fails. I have a God who never fails. I have a God who always comes true. I love my God. I have a God who never fails. I have a God who will never fail. I have a God who will never fail. Who will never, never, never fail. You say, Kundele, ye Kundele. You say, Kundele, Moke no fem, o sekunde ye, won te kuli, ye will never, never fail. Oh, I have a goal, who will never, never, never fail. Whoa, I have a goal. Who will never, never, never fail? I have a God. Who will never, never, never fail? He will never, never fail. My God is a big God. My God is a strong God. My God is a mighty God. He will never, never, never fail. He has never failed me. He has never failed me. He will never fail you. He will never, never, never fail. Hallelujah. Begin to worship him. Begin to worship him. Lord, we worship you. You are mighty. You are strong. The rock of ages. My holy mountain. Yea. My refuge and my strength. My salvation. My protection. My prosperity. My health. My heaven. My all. Therefore, today we lift your name. Your presence fills your people. You are here, Lord. The God of the prince and princess. The God of the rulers. The God of mighty rulers. You are the almighty. Taking your place among the mighty. Be blessed. Be glorified. We honor you. We worship you. You are exalted, Lord. Every God and goddess is bowed down before you. Because you are a great God. Because you are mighty. Because you are our warrior. Because you are our fighter. You defeat everything that stands up and rise up against us. You break the forces of darkness. You break idols. You speak and the earth shakes. Your will only will be done, your perfect will. We bless you and we thank you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The Lord that answered by fire, let him be my God. You are the Lord that answered by fire. Please always be my God. You are the Lord that answered by fire. You are always my God. 
know that answer it by fire. We want you to show up. Hallelujah. They know that answer it by fire. You will always be my God. The Lord that answer it by fire. Oh Lord, be our God. The Lord that answer it by fire. Be our God, the Lord that answer it by fire. Show up today. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. We bless you in the name of Jesus. We bless you. We bless you. Amen. And amen. And amen. And amen. And amen. 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 We are going to ask, we are going to ask people on the line, whatever foreign language you have, in a few seconds, I'm going to ask the lady from India, what language of India do you speak? Do you speak Hindi? Yes, I do. Do you speak in, in Hindi? Yes, I speak Hindi English. Okay. I want you to lift up your hand and worship God in Hindi. Just a few seconds and thank him and call upon his name and ask for extraordinary miracles to be poured out today. Begin to pray. No, 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 in Hindi. We want your native language. What other language do you speak apart from Hindi? What's your natural what's your natural language? Okay, speak. Okay, speak in that language to God. The language you are more. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, go ahead. Amen. Lizzie, are you on the line? Lizzie, are you on the line? Okay, she's not there. All right. Okay. Uh, who has a native language? Tell us what language it is. Norwegian. Okay, go ahead. Worship God briefly and tell him to be powerful here just for a few seconds. Go ahead. <laughs> Switch over to switch over to a way, switch over to a way language. If you have Hallelujah. Amen. Is there anybody who speaks uh, a different uh, language? 
different from English on the line. All right. Now everybody sit down. Holy Spirit, we want to hear from you. We want to hear directly from you today. Yesterday, rain began to fall on me. Uh, I was at the mall yesterday. Um, today is what? Today is... Uh, is today Friday? Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Thursday. Yesterday, Wednesday, I was at the mall. I went there to get them, clean my nails, get them, make them look pretty. Um, and then I saw water falling on me. So I thought maybe somebody poured water on me or maybe the roof of the mall is leaking and something like that. Then I looked, it wasn't coming from there. It's like there was an invisible rain that turned to visible. Something is coming from who knows where and is falling on me. I experienced that many times yesterday at the mall. Then I, when I came out of the mall, I experienced it again. Then when I came into this office, um, I think it was Victoria. Victoria, who were you with on the phone? Um, Mary. 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 And then I experienced another, um, like like a shower just poured on me, all over me. I mean, this physical thing. I saw the water all over me, falling, and so I began to know what God is saying is that. There is a rain that is about to fall. He is blessing me personally. God is giving me a sign of a rain that is falling on me and miracle rain that will fall on my people, my congregation, my business partners around the world, all those in good standing with me. If you are no longer part of our ministry, you don't contribute financially to what we are doing, you don't turn off activities, you are not part of us. Yes. I mean, those of you who are watching from afar still contribute, still calling from time to time, all right, you are in good standing because coverage is not given to everybody. And so I began to sense and to know that um, this rain is for my partners also. And so I see God moving me toward the direction to call, yeah, to call this meeting. To call this meeting. There is a place where you have to work hard. There is a place where you have to work smart in your professional careers, in your jobs, whether clock in, clock out, paycheck, whether salary, or whether... um. You, you do a particular thing and you are rewarded. You are highly rewarded, compensated. There are, there are three kinds of jobs that people do on earth. There is a rain and we call it miracle rain. Miracle rain is falling. It started yesterday. It means that There is certain times that God opens the cloud. Not of your own. It does not come because you are praying. It doesn't come because you are fasting. But, but it comes because of your actions. Things you've done in the past. Things you are doing in the present and where you are heading in your assignment in the future, and also what is the overall permanent will of God concerning your life. Because there are certain things you prayed about, God will not give it to you. Because God knows that if those things are given to you, people who are with you, people you are, you are, you are living with or who lives with you, or people you brought into your life, 
they will take those things away from you. Or you are not yet ready to be able to protect what is given to you. Therefore, God keeps it. God sometimes wait for you to be matured, to become an adult mind, not a child, not a teenager's mindset, but an adult mindset. And part of being an adult mindset is you never say anything, you never do anything without weighing the costs. You don't allow things to slip through your mouth simply because you want to feel good, you want to talk. If you are like that, you are still a teenager or a child in your mind. Therefore, you cannot, God cannot engage you in adult business. He cannot engage you in the business of the earth nor of heaven. We are allowed to be children and teenagers. In Our spirit is supposed to be a child spirit or a teenager spirit. But our mind is supposed to be an adult mind. That's how it goes. Therefore, certain things are delayed. I'm not talking about things that are delayed by Satan and his host. I'm not talking about things that are delayed by human actions against you. That's different. Because people are more interested in what people are doing against you and what Satan is doing against you. But we are talking about sometimes what are you what have you been doing against yourself? There are also other times that certain things that you were supposed to keep for yourself, you betray yourself, you become your own self-witch. You begin to program yourself into your own destruction. Many a time you choose things out of emotion. For example, when it comes to relationship, marriage, making children, making money, friendship, these are, these are mind realm things. They require an adult mind. It's not, it's not a teenager or a child mind that is required. Finally, many of you who are following me, who are following the ways of God with me, God has decided that this is time for him to pour out the rain of miracle or miracle rain. Because, because, yeah, because you are now ready. It's not because you've cried. It's not because you've died. Those things, God has seen them. But when it comes to, yeah, when it comes to the opening of the cloud, see, the last time we had the opening of the cloud was in Easter. It was during Holy Week that the cloud opened. And we've not seen it again. But suddenly this is happening of its own. This is happening of its own. When the cloud, when the cloud, when God opens the cloud, his presence becomes heavier. This is how you know it. If the presence of God becomes heavier, your desire to fast, your desire to tight, your desire to, to, to work hard in order to have money to sow into God's ministry will increase. Your passion and drive for life, for luxury, for pleasure, I mean good pleasures, to invest money will increase. Your passion to read the Bible will increase. The passion to stay in God's presence will increase. Now, you will know exactly where to invest your money. It begins to come automatically. You don't struggle. When things begin to happen to you, you don't struggle. They, they come of their own. Many a times, you don't need to consult with flesh and blood. You don't need to consult with any human being. Things begin to happen. That tells you that the presence of God has broken through the cloud for you. 
It is for you. God normally makes that decision. Many a time we put up programs, and that is where the church goes wrong. We put up programs and bring preachers and evangelists and all of that to perform crusades, and nothing happens. It doesn't work. It's because if you don't know the regiment, if you do not know how things are constituted, if you don't know how things are organized in heaven, you keep running and failing. You keep doing things that will not work. Because the wind is not there. You need the wind to make the fire strong. You need the wind to turn the fire on. You need to know when God moves and opens the cloud and his heaviness comes upon the earth for you or like for my ministry and for my business, our consultancy and for my partners, the heaviness will come. It will be weighty and heavy, very heavy. And then that presence, that heaviness and weightiness of God will fall any problem that you have. The heaviness of his presence will fall on that problem and crush it. That's what happens. Nothing can stand to resist his heaviness. You cannot even compare a volcanic eruption with fire shooting out. You cannot compare an elephant or a blue whale. You cannot compare anything that is heavy to the weightiness and the crushing power of God's presence on any trouble or any problem or any pain. That's why one of your prayers today will be for God's heaviness, God's precious heaviness to be so heavy upon you that anything that has pressed you down is crushed completely, crushed totally, crushed. Because you see, as the rain, just as the rain is falling, the supernatural rain of miracles is falling, every drop is turned into a miracle. This is where people receive gold, diamond. This is where people receive extraordinary miracles that they didn't ask for. Hallelujah. This is where, this is where government are changed instantly in your nations. Governments are changed instantly. Things begin to happen. Because miracle reign brings about instant success, instant justice and judgment. It reveals what motives and secrets. It makes people who should not be with you to walk away. Just as God did not tolerate Lucifer in his kingdom, yeah. therefore, Every devil in your life will not be tolerated. Yes. Miracle rain, where, as it begins to rain like it started yesterday, things will begin to happen that are beyond your wildest dream. Supernatural faith is granted where you were struggling with your natural ability. Things that you couldn't do before you begin to do. So we are not talking about revival, renewal, and all these things that we talk about. We are waiting for a new reign, revival, all this, and we sing about it, and, and people preach about it, and they walk away. This one is, it is of God's doing. It is of God's doing. We did come protection. We did come his innocency. What people used to make you do before, 
against your own will will stop automatically. Money and material resources begin to appear. Opportunities open of its own. You will now become confused about which job to go for because all of them are well-paying jobs. I went to Springfield, Springfield, Virginia, and I ministered to a family that is closely associated with Zola, the mother of nations. And um, I ministered to, to two, two girls, Zola's uh, sister's daughters. When they left my presence, each of them, that each of them, they didn't have no job. They all had three, three jobs when they left my presence. Hallelujah. They had three, three jobs. They began to work. I mean, jobs began to appear so that they became confused which one to go for. That's what, that's what the reign of miracles does. These things are given to you in order to make your life happy, comfortable, stable. Miracle reign are not given to you for you to boost, to create envy, to show up. It's given to you for comfort. Because God, God's greatest desire for you is happiness and comfort. God wants to take possession of you. You, you, you as a spirit, mind and body, coming under his government. Therefore, miracle rain is falling right now. Father, we thank you for miracle rain. We thank you for the rain. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So many people will be blessed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. When, as the rain begins to fall, you will know who is your lifelong partner and who is not. It's easy for you to get a house. Either people give you a house or the bank will approve it. Everything becomes easy. Things you've been struggling for years is folded, wrapped, thrown away, and a new thing is created. So this is not just about restoration. It's about creating new things for you. Changing things for your own comfort. Because your God is a God of comfort. He is a God of joy and happiness. I am asking that His oil will fall on every one of you. His rain will fall upon every one of you. His gold and diamond, his gold and diamond will fall on you. Now, let me tell you something. So that you know that our religion, our Christianity, our form of Christianity, is not limited to the story about the Bible. It's not limited to obtaining a degree about any subject in the Bible or becoming a theologian. Our kind of Christianity is the Christianity that uphold and <clears throat> it is a quest for the phenomena. It's a balanced one. It's a quest for the phenomena. The Bible is a book of the acts of God, first and foremost. The act of God is completely com connected with the word of God. Many a time, God will say something before he does them. And he said it for you to know that he's going to do it. <clears throat> he's not saying it to make you struggle to believe. Every promise of God you see in the Bible is not given to you for you to struggle to have faith. It is put out there for you to know that God has a work to do for you. 
That's why the promises are there. So it's not something that you must claim or you must not claim or you should struggle to claim. It has already been claimed for you. That's what it is. The reason for the appearance of Jesus on the earth is to claim for you all that is yours. So your job is to say, I have it. 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 There is no way that I'm not going to have it. There is no way. Nothing will stop me from having it. Lord, this is what I want. Lord, this is what I want. Lord, this is what I want. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for making it possible for me to have these things. They are mine. So, so the Red Sea or the Sea of Reed open. The cloud came. The presence was heavy. Angels appeared. The Holy Ghost appeared. The Red Sea opened. And they walk on dry ground. The Jordan opened many times. During the time of Joshua. During the time of Elijah and Elisha. Why? Comfort, protection, freedom, so that you can create, become a brand. Hallelujah. Manna fell from heaven. Manna fell from heaven. Angels fed Jesus. Angels fed Moses. Angels fed Elijah. It's all there in the Bible. Earthquake happened. The walls of Jericho fell. The children of Israel went in and took over. Miracle reign is given to you for you to begin to dominate your territory. That's why it's given. As I said, as I said last night, yeah, as I said, as I said, as I said, as I said yesterday, many of you will have two, two cars. One car for you to go to your job and to run errand. Another car will be a show show car. What we call a car that we call for show up. A car that you drive on occasion. You park it. It's just for occasion. Yes, 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 yes. yes. I have two cars. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. You should have up to two buildings. You should have two houses. One for rent. One for you to, to make a home. Hallelujah. Yes, Amen. Hallelujah. Sally, I can hear you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Holy Ghost, whatever you have for us, pour it out. Pour it out. Yes, yes, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. Thank you, Lord, for the rain. The days of the rain is here, Lord, I receive. Lord, I receive my portion. It is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our sight. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we receive it now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I want you to begin to claim your promises. Begin to claim, begin to claim, begin to claim. Begin to claim what the rain brings. Say, I got it. Begin to mention the thing that you want and begin to receive them. The rain of God is falling, the rain of miracles. 
Thank you for opening the cloud for us. Thank you for bringing back your glory. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus, for the rain. Thank you for the rain of miracles. Amen, 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 amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us be quiet. God has decided to prove all your detractors and those who have been seriously distracting you. God has decided to prove them wrong. Amen. For many of you, I heard the word. She is now and she is now old. She's been here for so many years, or he's been here for so many years. And he has not accomplished nothing with his God. So finally, God has decided to show you reward so that everybody will see and know that there is a reward for doing the right thing. That you have been running for nothing. That you have wasted your money for nothing. And God has decided to prove those, those who did not believe in you. God has decided to prove them wrong. Lord, I thank you for the rain of miracles. I see people getting brand new cars from the rain. Yes, I get my yes, 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 yes. Woo! 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 I see cars coming from the rain. I see houses coming from the rain. I see new jobs coming from the rain. I see inheritances coming from the rain. I see new locations coming from the rain. I see healing, healing coming from the rain, healing, healing of different kinds. I see new marriages. I see new marriages coming from the rain. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Amen. All right, let's be quiet. Let's be quiet. Please, let's be quiet. Please, let's be quiet so that people can hear. Everything that you were supposed to receive a long time ago that were tied and kept away, I see them released to you. Hallelujah. I see court cases wrapped up and given in your favor. Oh, 
From the rain, I see people being settled. Once and for all. Body parts being given. Things that you were afraid of how is going to come to pass are coming to pass of their own without no stress. Mental problem, depression vanishes. People will be calling you and offering you the things that nobody, you were begging for in those days, nobody listened to you. Now, now they are listening to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord, I thank you for the rain. There is so much that is happening. I have talked about gold and diamond falling. I see money falling from the sky for you. I see money falling like rain. I see money rain, money rain, money rain, car rain, house rain. All forms of miracles. I see increase, promotions falling from the rain. Promotion. God is doing this. We step aside, Lord, for you to do this. We step aside for you to handle this. We are not getting in your way. We have tried our ways. It did not work. Now your presence has come through the cloud. And we step aside for you to increase us. Yes. The days of increase are here. It's not for you to run and go and start spending. It is money for investments. Money for mighty investments. Money for your future is being created now. Money for your tomorrow so that you will never be in lack. God is preparing you through this miracle rain for tomorrow. God has come to take struggles away from you. Struggles are gone. Pains are gone. Difficulties are gone. Problems and troubles are gone. Including those who caused them. They are gone. With this rain, come an uncommon anointing upon your life. And all your giftedness begin to bring your cash. <laughs> Hallelujah. People are now looking for you, seeking, seeking your giftedness. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Miracle rain of opportunities. Opportunities. Open doors. Gates are broken. Dogs are knocked over. The presence of the Lord is searching the earth for you, for things for you. Let me tell you what the reign of miracle is about. If you did not hear anything, you must hear this one. Listen very carefully. God has gone shopping for you. If you did not learn anything, learn that one. God, God has come to eat to shop for you. 
Someone has been sent. People have been released. Angels have been released. God himself has released himself to come to it to shop for you. The reason why is because your prayer list is so many. The things on your prayer list are so many. So God has decided, since nobody want to do it for you, God has decided to send people, to send angels, and to come himself to come and shop for you. Yes, and I love it. I love it, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. I want you to begin to thank God for coming to do shopping for you on the earth. Lord, thank you. Thank you for coming to do shopping for me. Thank you for coming to shop for me on the earth. Thank you for sending people. Thank you for sending angels. Thank you for coming yourself to come and shop for me, Jesus. Do you guys know what I'm hearing? Listen carefully. What is salvation? Receiving Jesus as your as your new God, as your owner, as your mediator that brought you back to your father, to God the Father. But do you know what I'm hearing? Salvation was the Father sending Jesus and the Holy Ghost to come to earth, not sit in heaven. Did Jesus sit in heaven to die on the cross? Did Jesus sit in heaven to be born on earth? Did Jesus die? Did Jesus die in heaven? Did Jesus do did Jesus do his ministry in heaven? No. Did the Holy Ghost fall on angels and on the people in heaven? No, no, no. All of it was done on the earth. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, listen to what I'm hearing about the reign of miracles. Salvation is the Father. Sending Jesus and the Holy Ghost and angels to come to earth. Everything the Holy Ghost is doing. Everything Jesus did. Everything the angels are doing is called shopping for the saints. It's called shopping for the saints. We are the saints. We are the chosen ones. We are the chosen race. The holy people of God. And everything that Jesus did is called shopping. Yes, God, thank you. Everything the Holy Ghost is doing is called shopping. I didn't know this, but now I'm knowing it. Yes. So lift up your hand and begin to thank them. Thank them, thank them that now you know. Release them to shop for you. Release them. Tell them to shop for you. Lord, shop for me. Lord, shop for me on the earth. Lord, shop for me in heaven. Lord, shop for me anywhere where my goods and my people are. Shop for me, Lord. Woo! Supernatural shopping. Supernatural shopping. Lord Jesus, you came to the earth to shop for me. Holy Ghost, you came to the earth to shop for me. Angels, you came to the earth to shop for me. God the Father, you stretch forth your hand and you shop for me. I receive. I receive this shopping. I got it, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. I have it, Lord. I have it, Lord. 
Thank you, Jesus. There we go. We've learned a new thing today. Because until you know something, it doesn't work for you. Now you know. So salvation itself, salvation itself is God shopping for you. See, see that? No more struggle shopping for myself. Yeah, no, 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 no. I want you to go in peace and go and start enjoying what you'll be experiencing, what is happening now. We are meeting at 7 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. Eastern tonight. That's how we will conclude. We will conclude this. Yeah, we will conclude this reign of miracle or miracle reign. We'll conclude. We'll conclude it. So if you are fasting, continue to fast. If you want to break your fasting now, that's good. That's up to you. But we are meeting tonight to conclude this. I, I have never received the kind of money that is coming from the reign of miracle. And you too, you too. Everything about your life, everything about your life will change. Because, because of this one move. Yeah, because of this one shopping, one shopping move of God for you. I love shopping. And I'm so happy that God has come to shop for me and to shop for you. Thank you, so that all those who were working their mouth against you, it will stop from today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Do not forget that we are using this opportunity to ask you to donate for a new car, for the Edekai Mary's ministry, and also to give generously. We want to buy a new uh, a house where we will house our ministry headquarters. So if you know wealthy people, you know people who have money, go and talk to them and say, you have a bishop who need a new car, and we also have a ministry that need a ministry headquarters. We found a house to buy, and we want we want to buy that house immediately. Let them donate. You can write it off as tax. You can, you can, it's a tax deductible. So send, send in your, just ask us that you need your, 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 your tax thing and Victoria will prepare it and send it to you right away. So that is it. And um, please pray and prepare for this evening because it's going to be extraordinary, going to be electrifying. Bye bye. All right, I will see you tonight. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you.